The famous Boston Tea Party in 1773 resulted in the destruction of 342 chests of tea. On the night of December 16, 1773, a group of colonists, many of them disguised as Mohawk Indians to conceal their identities, boarded three British ships, the Dartmouth, the Eleanor, and the Beaver, all of which were carrying tea. The destruction of the tea was a deliberate act of protest against the Tea Act and British taxation without representation. The White House is one of the most iconic buildings in the United States and serves as the official residence and workplace of the President of the United States. Located at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue NW in Washington, D.C., it is an essential symbol of American democracy and power. The White House wasn't always called that, it was originally known as the President's Palace or Executive Mansion. The Great Chicago Fire began on the evening of October 8, 1871, and raged through the city for two days until October 10. The exact cause of the fire remains uncertain, but it is believed to have started in or near a barn owned by Patrick and Catherine O'Leary on DeCoven Street. A popular but unproven legend at the time suggested that the fire started when Mrs. O'Leary's cow kicked over a lantern. The story of Mrs. O'Leary's cow starting the fire became a widely accepted myth, but there was no concrete evidence to support it. In 1997, the Chicago City Council passed a resolution exonerating Mrs. O'Leary and her cow, acknowledging that the fire's origins remained a mystery. The teddy bear was named after President Theodore Roosevelt. The story dates back to a hunting trip that President Theodore Roosevelt took in November 1902. The president was in Mississippi to settle a border dispute between Mississippi and Louisiana. During the trip, Roosevelt and his hunting party were unsuccessful in finding a bear to shoot. Roosevelt, an avid outdoorsman and conservationist, refused to kill a bear that had been captured and tied to a tree for him to shoot, considering it unsportsmanlike. The teddy bear has since become an enduring symbol of childhood comfort and companionship. It remains one of the most beloved and iconic toys in the world. The first hot dog vendor in the United States was Charles Feldman, a German immigrant, in 1867. Charles Feldman was born in 1841 in Germany and immigrated to the United States in the 1850s. He settled in Brooklyn, New York, which had a growing German immigrant community. In 1867, Charles Feldman had an innovative idea. He began selling sausages placed inside elongated rolls, essentially inventing what we now know as the hot dog. Feldman's creation was convenient for beachgoers and amusement park visitors, as it allowed them to enjoy a meal without needing utensils. Alaska was purchased from Russia for just $7.2 million in 1867. Alaska, a vast and sparsely populated territory, was originally settled by indigenous peoples long before European contact. Russian explorers and traders began to establish a presence in the region in the 18th century, by the mid-19th century, Russia was facing financial difficulties and growing concerns about maintaining control over Alaska, which was distant from its core territories in Europe. The United States agreed to purchase Alaska from Russia for $7.2 million. This amount came to roughly two cents per acre for a vast territory that encompassed nearly 586,000 square miles. The first recorded automobile accident occurred in New York City in 1896 when a car collided with a bicycle. The automobile involved in the accident was a motor vehicle built by Henry Wells of Springfield, Massachusetts. It was a gasoline-powered vehicle, one of the earliest types of automobiles. According to historical records, the driver of the motor vehicle, Henry Wells, was driving at a speed of about 4 miles per hour, 6.4 kilometers per hour, when he collided with a cyclist. The bicycle rider suffered minor injuries. The Pig War of 1859 was a standoff between the U.S. and Britain over a pig on San Juan Island, Washington. The origins of the dispute dated back to the 1846 Oregon Treaty between the United States and Britain, which established the border between the Oregon Territory, including what is now Washington State, and British North America, now Canada. In June 1859, an American farmer named Lyman Cutler found a large black pig belonging to the Hudson's Bay Company, a British fur trading company, rooting in his garden and destroying his crops on San Juan Island. Cutler, frustrated by the pig's repeated trespassing, shot and killed the pig. The pig's owner, Charles Griffin of the Hudson's Bay Company, 
demanded compensation from Cutler, but Cutler refused, arguing that the pig had been the one trespassing on his property. Tensions escalated quickly, and both American and British settlers on the island became involved, raising flags and demanding their respective governments take action. The Great Emigration of 1843 saw thousands of pioneers move to Oregon along the Oregon Trail. The Oregon country was a vast territory in the Pacific Northwest that included present-day Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and parts of Montana and Wyoming. In the early 1840s, the Oregon country was jointly occupied by the United States and Great Britain under the terms of the Treaty of 1818. The pioneers who joined the Great Emigration were primarily motivated by a desire for a better life including the promise of fertile land, economic opportunities, and the prospect of religious freedom. The pioneers who joined the Great Emigration were primarily motivated by a desire for a better life, including the promise of fertile land, economic opportunities, and the prospect of religious freedom. The California Gold Rush of 1848-1855 brought approximately 300,000 people to California in search of gold. The California Gold Rush began in 1848 when gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill, near Coloma in Northern California. The discovery was made by James W. Marshall, a carpenter working for John Sutter, a Swiss immigrant who owned a sawmill. News of the gold discovery spread rapidly, sparking a massive migration to California. People from all walks of life, including prospectors, miners, entrepreneurs, and laborers, rushed to the region. The U.S. purchased the Virgin Islands from Denmark in 1917 for $25 million. Prior to the U.S. purchase, the islands were known as the Danish West Indies and were under Danish colonial rule for over 200 years. The sale of the Danish West Indies to the United States was motivated by several factors. One primary reason was economic, as Denmark had struggled to maintain and develop the islands. The first U.S. presidential election in which women could vote was in 1920. The women's suffrage movement, which sought to secure voting rights for women, had been active in the United States for several decades leading up to the 1920 election. The pivotal moment in the suffrage movement came with the passage and ratification of the 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution. The shortest-serving U.S. president was William Henry Harrison, who died after only 31 days in office in 1841. William Henry Harrison was a military leader and a seasoned politician when he ran for the presidency in 1840. Tragically, Harrison's presidency was cut short due to illness. Just 31 days after taking office, he became seriously ill, likely due to a combination of exposure during his inauguration and pre-existing health issues. Harrison's illness was initially believed to be pneumonia, but its exact nature remains a subject of historical debate. The U.S. purchased Florida from Spain in 1819 for $5 million. Florida was originally a Spanish colony for centuries, with settlements dating back to the 16th century. It was ceded to Great Britain after the Seven Years' War, 1756-1763, but returned to Spanish control after the American Revolutionary War, 1775-1783. The United States had a growing interest in Florida due to its strategic location and its role in regional conflicts. Additionally, Florida's Gulf Coast was a haven for pirates and escaped slaves, which caused tension between the United States and Spain. The Boston Red Sox sold Babe Ruth to the New York Yankees in 1920, resulting in the curse of the Bambino. Babe Ruth, whose full name was George Herman Ruth, was a talented pitcher for the Boston Red Sox in the early part of his career. He was known for his powerful left-handed pitching and had a reputation as a promising young player. The sale of Babe Ruth from the Red Sox to the Yankees was motivated, in part, by financial considerations. The Red Sox owner, Harry Frizee, was facing financial difficulties, and the Yankees owner, Jacob Ruppert, was willing to pay a substantial sum for Ruth's contract. The curse of the Bambino is a superstition that held that the Red Sox were cursed by trading Ruth, and as a result, they would not win another World Series. From 1918, when the Red Sox won their last championship before Ruth's sale, until 2004, the team experienced a prolonged championship route that fueled the legend of the curse. 
The United States has never lost a war against Canada. There have been only two significant military conflicts between the United States and Canada in their shared history, and neither resulted in a clear-cut victory for either side. The War of 1812, often referred to as the Second War of Independence, was fought between the United States and Great Britain, which included British North America, now Canada, from 1812 to 1815. The Aroostook War, also known as the Pork and Beans War, was a non-violent confrontation between the United States and Great Britain, again including British North America, which would later become Canada. The U.S. has the largest railway network in the world, with over 138,000 miles of track. The development of the U.S. railway system began in the early 19th century and was a key factor in the country's westward expansion. The first operational railway in the U.S. was the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad, which began construction in the 1820s and was completed in 1830. The American bald eagle was chosen as the national bird in 1782. The choice of a national bird for the United States was part of the development of national symbols during the American Revolutionary War. During the deliberations, several birds were considered for the honor of becoming the national symbol. These included the wild turkey and the American bald eagle. The decision to select the bald eagle was influenced by its powerful and majestic appearance, symbolizing strength, freedom, and independence. The bald eagle's distinctive white head and tail feathers, along with its sharp eyesight, contributed to its selection as a symbol of vision and clarity. The first ATM in the U.S. was installed in Rockville Center, New York, in 1969. The machine was installed at a branch of Chemical Bank, now part of J.P. Morgan Chase, and allowed customers to withdraw up to $100 in cash at a time. The success of the first ATMs led to their rapid proliferation across the United States and around the world. Banks recognized the cost-saving benefits of ATMs, which reduced the need for physical bank tellers and extended banking services beyond traditional banking hours. The first telephone call was made by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876 to his assistant, Thomas Watson. Alexander Graham Bell, a Scottish-born inventor and scientist, had been working on the development of a device that could transmit speech electronically. Bell, who was in one room, spoke into the telephone transmitter, saying the famous words, Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. The U.S. has the largest economy in the world. Several factors contribute to the United States' large economy, including a vast and diverse population, a highly developed infrastructure, a dynamic business environment, and abundant natural resources. The 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution abolished slavery in 1865. Slavery had been a deeply entrenched institution in the United States for centuries, with enslaved individuals primarily of African descent forced into labor on plantations and in various industries. The 13th Amendment's passage and ratification had profound and far-reaching consequences. It not only abolished the institution of slavery but also laid the legal groundwork for the subsequent civil rights movement and the fight for equality. The first American to travel to space was Alan Shepard in 1961. In 1959, NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, selected the Mercury 7, a group of seven astronauts chosen to participate in the Mercury program, the United States' first manned space program. Alan Shepard was one of these select individuals chosen for his exceptional qualifications and piloting skills. Shepard's flight was suborbital, meaning it did not complete an orbit around the Earth. Instead, it reached a peak altitude of 116.5 miles, 187.5 kilometers, and traveled a horizontal distance of about 302 miles, 486 kilometers. The flight was a significant achievement as it demonstrated that humans could survive and operate in the space environment. The U.S. Secret Service was originally established in 1865 to combat counterfeit currency. In 1901, after the assassination of President William McKinley, the Secret Service's mission was expanded to include the protection of the President of the United States. While the Secret Service's protective mission gained prominence, the agency did not abandon its original mandate. It continued to investigate financial crimes, including counterfeiting, as well as credit card fraud and other financial frauds. 
The oldest university in the United States is Harvard, founded in 1636. Initially called New College, it was later renamed Harvard College in 1639 in honor of its first benefactor, John Harvard, a clergyman and scholar who bequeathed his library and half of his estate to the institution. The Louisiana Purchase in 1803 nearly doubled the size of the United States. The region known as Louisiana was originally a French colonial territory, but it had been ceded to Spain in 1762 as part of a secret treaty. In 1800, it was retroceded to France under Napoleon Bonaparte. By 1803, Napoleon had grand ambitions for an expansive French empire in the Americas. He saw Louisiana as a valuable asset but also faced the challenges of potential conflict with the United States. In an effort to avoid conflict, U.S. President Thomas Jefferson authorized negotiations to purchase New Orleans and West Florida from France. However, the offer to buy all of Louisiana was unexpectedly accepted. On April 30, 1803, the United States and France signed the Louisiana Purchase Treaty, which transferred the entire Louisiana Territory to the United States for $15 million, roughly four cents per acre. The highest temperature ever recorded in the U.S. was 134 degrees Fahrenheit, 56.7 degrees Celsius, in Death Valley, California, in 1913. Death Valley is a desert valley located within the Mojave Desert in eastern California. It is known for its extreme heat, arid landscapes, and unique geological features. This exceptional temperature was the result of a combination of factors, including intense solar radiation, low humidity, and the valley's topography, which acted as a natural oven. The first successful powered airplane flight was made by the Wright brothers in 1903. The Wright brothers, Wilbur and Orville Wright, were inventors and aviation pioneers from Dayton, Ohio. They shared a deep interest in flight and a determination to achieve controlled, powered flight. Orville piloted the Wright Flyer for the first successful powered, controlled, and sustained flight. The aircraft covered a distance of 120 feet in 12 seconds. The first U.S. patent was issued to Samuel Hopkins in 1790. Samuel Hopkins was an American inventor and resident of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, during the late 18th century. He is primarily known for his invention related to the making of potash, a valuable substance used in various industrial and agricultural processes. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from France to the United States in 1886. The idea for the Statue of Liberty originated with the French historian and political thinker Edward René de Lavallée, who envisioned a gift to the United States to celebrate its centennial and the enduring friendship between France and the United States. French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi was commissioned to design and create the statue. Bartholdi's design featured a colossal neoclassical sculpture of a woman holding a torch and a tablet inscribed with the date of American independence, July 4, 1776. The statue, officially titled, Liberty Enlightening the World, La Liberté éclairant le monde in French, was constructed in France and later disassembled and shipped to the United States. The Big Bang Theory, explaining the origin of the universe, was first proposed by American astronomer Edwin Hubble. Before the formulation of the Big Bang Theory, there were various ideas about the nature and origin of the universe. Some scientists believed in a steady-state universe, which had no beginning or end, while others considered alternative models. Hubble's key discovery, made in the 1920s, was that distant galaxies were receding from Earth, and the farther away they were, the faster they were moving away. This relationship became known as Hubble's Law. Hubble's observations led to the realization that the universe was not static but expanding. The Apollo 11 mission in 1969 made Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin the first humans to walk on the moon. Apollo 11 was launched on July 16, 1969, from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The spacecraft entered lunar orbit on July 19, 1969, after a journey of approximately 240,000 miles from Earth. At 2.56 Coordinated Universal Time on July 21, 1969, 10.56 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time on July 20, Neil Armstrong stepped onto the moon's surface, famously saying, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Buzz Aldrin joined him shortly afterward. 
Together, they conducted experiments, collected samples, and planted the American flag on the lunar surface. The first successful kidney transplant was performed in Boston in 1954. The patient who received the kidney transplant was Richard Herrick, a 23-year-old man suffering from end-stage kidney disease. The kidney donor was Ronald Herrick, Richard's identical twin brother. The decision to use identical twins as donor and recipient was crucial to the success of the procedure. Because the twins shared identical genetic material, the risk of organ rejection was significantly reduced. The largest diamond ever discovered in the U.S., the Uncle Sam, weighed 40.23 carats. The Uncle Sam diamond was discovered in 1924 in the famous Crater of Diamond State Park, located near Murfreesboro, Arkansas. The Crater of Diamond State Park is renowned for being the only diamond-producing site in the world where visitors are allowed to search for diamonds and keep what they find. Elijah McCoy, an African-American man, invented a device to keep train wheels oiled while the train was running. His device automatically delivered a precise amount of oil to critical engine parts, such as bearings and gears, while the train was in motion. Prior to McCoy's invention, trains had to stop for manual lubrication, causing significant downtime and maintenance costs. The American flag, often referred to as the Stars and Stripes, was indeed designed by a 17-year-old named Robert G. Heft. Heft's history teacher, Stanley Pratt, assigned the class to create a project on an important historical event. Heft chose to focus on the design of a new American flag since Alaska and Hawaii were on the verge of becoming states, and the flag needed to be updated to include 50 stars to represent all the states in the Union. He decided to send his flag design to his congressman, Walter Moeller, with a request for it to be considered by the U.S. Congress. In 1959, the 86th Congress passed legislation to make Heft's 50-star flag design the official flag of the United States.